And I have been really looking forward to this story because I'm trying to understand how it works. Mm. Now, as weather becomes increasingly erratic, accurate and time-sensitive forecasting becomes even more important. Yeah. The Kenya Meteorological Department, I nailed that in one. Well done. Has adopted participatory scenario planning. That's right. Now, a mechanism. A mechanism. <laughs> Mecha mechanism. Mechanism <laughs> for collective sharing and interpretation of climate information in order to provide farmers with essential information to proper, yeah, for proper planning, right? Yeah. As Chris Minos in the roads. Yeah, oh, and citizen. Planet Maasai elders who predicted heavy rains by looking at. Intestines or intestines? Animal intestines. I say intestines, but you're the expert. Tomato, tomato. American or British English, Kenyan English are the latest to meet the weatherman. <laughs> listen, take a listen. <laughs> As the morning sun rises over Ildamat in Kajiado, <laughs> senior members of the pastoralist Maa community in Kenya gather to think about what the near future holds as the sun shines stubbornly in many parts of the country. Here, a freshly sacrificed male goat is one of the instruments they use to systematically analyze indigenous weather and climate patterns. The river flow mm -hmm. and any other vein. Mm -hmm. The animal's abdomen is carefully opened up to examine its intestines as well as the blood vessels. Mm -hmm. This process is done with utmost precision. Thick blood vessels within the intestines indicates heavy water flow in rivers. They also symbolize tributaries in the area. Elders who perform this right are not ordinary. They must have been given a green light from the community as the custodians of the Ma culture. The thicker the veins, the better the season. The lesser the veins, the blood going through tells you the drier the season is coming. So this intersense also tells not only about the rains, but also other aspects about life. They can even say your wife is expectant. It is for this reason that the meteorological department also invited the traditionalists to introduce them to modern forecasting techniques, which included use of balloon-based means. <laughs> During the sensitization program, modern metrologists led by Francis Nguata, a renowned weatherman, underscored the importance of collaboration between scientific and indigenous weather predictions. Ni observation zuri sana na kapa tungeweza kila wakati kuhusisha hawa wazee na kuambia utabiri wa hewa ungekuwa unafanyika kwa njia maridadi kabisa. And the areas that are going to receive below average rainfall to the near average rainfall is the north east sub counties of Kajado and then the north the west north part of Kajado County. Traditional indicators among African communities that symbolize an impending change in the weather include animal behavior, where certain birds' early migration might indicate an early rainy season, specific plants blooming at a certain time predicted oncoming rains, the shape and movement of clouds indicate an impending storm, the position of stars at a certain time of the year can provide an information about seasonal changes. Despite the accuracy by traditional weathermen, it is still not qualitative compared to the modern-day meteorological prediction. <laughs> With the current prediction, farmers will be adequately prepared to maximize the situation come end of the month of March. Based on this information which you are going to receive, we will be able to advise farmers on the need, on the need to conserve water they need to conserve water so that we should not always be crying that there is no water all over. As for the slaughtered goat, 
Once information from the intestines has been gathered, the rest of it is cooked and the elders have their feast, but only after the prediction. Gods are also appeased with their fair share. Crispin Otieno, Citizen TV. That's, that's kind of too much intestines, huh? Mwekula matumbo. Matma? Matumbo. What is that? <laughs> is it intestines? Um, yes. Yeah. Have you ever had it? Uh, 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 why? <laughs> I hear it has no nutritional value, but if I buy you some, will you have it? No. Why? After seeing that? <laughs> Right. After seeing that, I'll convince him as we. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> now.